Okay, here is a quick overview of vector calculations in Python using the visual module. So, first of all, I'm using trinket.io. Let me just type that in here. Trinket.io, and I'll give you a link to this. Um, if, if you go here, you, you can create a new glow script, and then you can do these vector operations. Uh, the other option is to go to just glowscript.org. Now that one you're going to have to log in to use. This one you can just modify without logging in. But if you're going to save either one, you should log in. Okay, so let's first make a vector. I'm going to say vector A equals vector. And now I've got to have to give the x and y and z coordinates. I just made something up. There's a vector. If I want to print the vector, I just put print A. Now, oops, I can click play, and it gives me the result over here. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now let's make another vector. B equals vector uh, 1.2, negative 0.5, and 4.1. It's hard to just come up with numbers off the top of your head. I don't know why. <clears throat> C equals A plus B, print C. I'm just going to do several things. Uh, C equals A minus B. Oops, actually I can do that. Print C. So you'll notice that I actually have C as this value, and then I print it, and then I have assign another value to C and print it. That, that's fine. Python doesn't care. You can do whatever you want. Actually, just for fun, uh, C equals 2. Now it's not a vector anymore. Print C. Watch this. So these are all different values. So it first printed out A plus B, then it printed out A minus B, and then I said make it two, and it printed out two. It doesn't care. You can do whatever you want. It's Py it, you're, the, you're in control, not Python. Okay, that's adding. Um, scalar multiplication, let's say S equals 2.54. So C equals S times A plus 2 times B. Print. There you go. Uh, and I showed you this in class. If you want to make it look prettier, you can say, quote, C equals comma, and then C. If you want to even add something afterwards, say it's in meters, meters. So you can string those things together like that, and it prints out and makes it look pretty, if you like that. Okay. Okay, uh, if you want to do print c dot x, it will just print the x component. Let's do this. Print c. Print c dot x. Print c dot y. Print c dot z. Yep, there you go right there. Okay, uh, what else can we do? We can find the magnitude. I, sh I showed you how to do this manually, but the magnitude print mag c. That's the magnitude of vector c. And then the unit vector print norm c. There you go. Um, I think that's good for right now. That'll get you started. I'll, I'll send you some other stuff later.